We'll start by walking through the status of this Tektronix 545 Alpha oscilloscope. horizontal line across the screen so that tells me that something's going right in the sweep. I got high voltage some of the power supplies must be working but I'll walk you through what I've found here so far. So the only way I can get the horizontal line is if I put the horizontal display to Bravo. If I go to Alpha I lose it so that's uh, one little problem I have. I, I don't appear to be able to get any vertical deflection. As I said, I got 20 volts peak to peak going in here from the function generator, from the Hamag function generator, and uh, not getting any vertical deflection. So I've got something wrong, it appears, with horizontal sweep associated with the uh, alpha channel, and I've got something wrong with the vertical input for both channels. So, a couple things going right with this scope, but lots going wrong. So, by using the block diagram of the 545 Alpha oscilloscope, I'm going to look at the parts of the scope that are working, which is the square wave generator in green, the horizontal drive circuit is working, the horizontal drive selection switch is working, in blue, the channel B horizontal uh, sweep circuitry is working, in red, channel A horizontal sweep is not working, and vertical drive is not working. So, we're going to use the channel B horizontal circuitry to take some measurements and compare them with what we're seeing in channel alpha horizontal. So we'll start by looking at channel Bravo horizontal and we'll look at the output from the sweep gating multivibrator and the output from the Miller run-up circuit. So channel B time based generator I'm going to try and measure the output from the Miller run-up amp which is essentially which goes off to the horizontal deflection plates and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a look at the output from this multivibrator from this oscillation circuit on so I want to take a look at both the uh, uh, both signals on the uh, on the uh, yeah. base by adjusting the B time base on the scope see I just the timing of the horizontal trace. Let's see if we can slow it right down. It's like a heart monitor thing in there, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, and if we slow down 2465 to look at this. B sweep looks healthy. Now knowing what to look for, we tackled the uh, horizontal sweep on the A channel. Uh, and measure the output from the multivibrator as well as the Miller run-up circuit and in both cases I got no signal. As the multivibrators ahead of the run-up circuit decided to focus on it, see if I have a couple spare tubes that I can replace the 6 Delta Juliet 8 and the 12 Bravo Yankee 7 with. I've got a couple other old Tektronix scopes. I've got this 581, which I also hope to uh, get going, so I'm not gonna steal from it. And then I have a 315 Delta, which is another era going backwards. This takes you back to the early 50s. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have a cathode ray tube on it, so this really is just a parts machine. And it's got both a 12 Bravo Yankee 7 and it has a tube in here that uh, says 6 Delta Juliet 8 on it so I'm going to take both those tubes. So I started by replacing the 12 Bravo Yankee 7 uh, no change the A sweep still did not work and I replaced the 6 Delta Juliet 8 and the uh, scope uh, A sweep did start to work. I'm looking at the A channel from this scope horizontal section Multivibrator, the oscillator, and the output from the Miller run-up circuit, which is the sweep to the vertical deflection plates. Horizontal position in place, and you can see the output from my multivibrator sweep and uh, Miller run-up circuit change with the A time base. Very nice. B is also looking good right now. You can see the B time circuit 
on what I'm not hooked up on the oscilloscope, beat time circuit is working rather nice too. I can uh, slow it right down, B, and flip over to A, slow it right down to A. Both time circuits seem to be healthy. So with that uh, problem with the uh, channel A horizontal sweep solved, we're now going to take a look in the next video at what's going on with uh, vertical deflection on both uh, Alpha and Bravo channels.